I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and in weather history, between January 9th and 12th, 1975, an intense storm system impacted a large portion of the central and southeastern United States. This panhandle hook cyclone remains one of the largest January tornado outbreaks on record in the U.S. It produced 45 tornadoes in the southeast, resulting in 12 fatalities and almost 400 injured. An unusual feature of the outbreak was that daytime heating did not play a role. Rather, as the system pulled out into the central plain, strong thunderstorms and tornadoes quickly formed. Touchdowns occurred between 10 p.m. on the 9th and finally ending before 10 a.m. on the next day. Mississippi and Alabama were hit the hardest. The storm later dumped over two feet of snow and killed 58 people in the Midwest. The heaviest snow fell to the west of the Low Pressure Center, which tracked from northeast Iowa through central Minnesota and up to Lake Superior. It was dubbed the Super Bowl blizzard because it struck on the weekend of Super Bowl IX. While the game between the Steelers and the Vikings was played in New Orleans, many areas in Minnesota were crippled for days. With no electricity and blocked roads, many Vikings parties were hindered as a result. I'm Mark Minkuso.